hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new um my name's madison and today i'm going to be doing kind of like a makeup look for you guys since it is halloween on sunday um i thought it would be very relevant to do a halloween makeup look see how this goes i honestly don't know how it's gonna go could go very bad or could go very good so i guess you guys will see i guess we're just gonna get straight into it um if you guys like this video please subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and comment down below if you like this video and you want more videos like this or if you didn't like it and you want other videos um i'm open to any suggestions so let's get started okay so as you can see i look very very bad right now and my hair is terrible as well so i'm just gonna brush it really quickly and then put on a headband so that it stays out of my face also i'm really sorry that i didn't upload last week i was kind of like sick um so i just thought i'd have a break from making a video last week but i'm back so yeah um yeah i think i'm just gonna do a clown look for today i still need to like choose what colors i want to use and stuff so um i'll tell you guys everything i'm using for this video as well if in case you guys want it let's start with my brows so i might just do that first just brush up my brows and then i use a kat von d pomade in the shade blonde it's kind of not like it's still dark so i don't know but um i just use that to fill in my brows there we go not too much not too much on the brows. Then I'm just going to carve them out using uh, my e.l.f. concealer. This is the Camo Concealer Matte Finish. And it's in the shade Fair Warm. I use quite a light shade under my eyebrows. Um, so it comes out. So it like highlights my brow bone. So you know it's really light. So it like highlights highlights my brow and I'm gonna do the other side okay, now that I've highlighted under my brows I only do under because I don't, know, I don't really like doing the whole brow um I'm going to get my I just use a little clear eyebrow gel to help them stay in place this is the it's just like a drugstore one I just got so that it would stay i don't even know studio i don't know what this brand is you can get it at kmart so there you go done that i'm just gonna go in with some moisturizer because i don't use primer i just use moisturizer on my face because my face gets really dry i have the morphe 2 foundation and then i also have the maybelline active wear super stay foundation they're basically like the exact same color but i'm just trying to think like what would be better coverage i think i might do this one because this one's more of like a skin tint i'm gonna go in with this brush i don't know where it is from i actually have no clue what brand this is but it's just a normal foundation brush i'm gonna put some on my brush and look at this color difference Oh my god. Um, it's right because it will blend out later. So, so yeah, but if you want to see me try to do a look, then this is the video for you. Okay, I'm just gonna blend it up. Oh, I'm going to go in with concealer. I use the um Too Faced Born This Way concealer. This is like the best concealer. I just need to go wet my beauty blender. 
actually i might put this on first just so it gets a bit like what's the word like tacky um if i just put it like on my t zone under my eyes and yeah right to here we don't want our foundation to be patchy so yeah i'm gonna go wet my beauty blender okay so i just wet my beauty blender now i'm going to blend out my concealer <laughs> okay so far so good actually the makeup is looking pretty good got a blend on my eyelid as well we gotta get rid of these bags somehow so i'm gonna use the laura messier powder best powder ever if you guys want a really good powder i know it's expensive i think it's like 60 dollars, but it has so much product in it and it's so worth it like bake all the areas i put the concealer actually i might bake my whole face sometimes i bake my whole face when like i'm going out somewhere and i need my makeup to last a really long time so i might do that today i might just bake my whole face because then it lasts longer i don't think i'm actually gonna do anything this year for halloween i might just like i know that me and my boyfriend wanted to like carve pumpkins which could be cute but like i don't think i'm actually doing like anything like going to a party or like um you know so which i'm fine with i'm not really the big biggest partier so um i'm fine with just staying at home and like watching scary movies yeah but let me know what you guys are doing so i baked my whole face i might just add a bit more under my eyes i'm getting this angle brush and my hula benefit bronzer i'm just gonna put a little bit on if you guys want a good bronzer this is definitely a good one <clears throat> kat von d shade and light palette i like to use the um i like to use the middle shade as you can see it's literally running out um so i just try and get as much product as i can on there and i just wipe off all the powder i'm like happy with it so i'm not gonna do any blush or anything now this is pretty much just the base so now i'm gonna start with like the actual look of charles palette this is my favorite eyeshadow palette in the whole entire world just because like variety of color in this palette is so good like hello i love it um also this as a highlighter obviously you can tell i've used it i'm gonna go for a purple look today so i'm gonna start with my eyes then work my way up down and then my lips yeah these are all morphe brushes just like little brushes different sizes so that's what we're going for today okay so i'm gonna start off with i actually forgot the names but this light purple um i literally forgot the names i'm so sorry but i don't have the clear like thing anymore that it came with oh okay we're really going in now um we're just gonna lightly blend out this purple see how i'm going out a little bit to make a little winged eyeshadow look i'm just gonna blend it out now that I've got like that nice little purple base, I'm gonna go in with this purple, which is the one above it. It's kind of more like a pinky purple. And I'm gonna use a different brush. A lot of pigment, so I'm just gonna tap that off and go in the outer corner and just like deepen that up a little bit. All I can do. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side now. So I've kind of got the same thing going on here now. So 
what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in with a smaller brush. Um, this is a smaller brush, as you can see. This is the brush I was just using. So it's smaller. And I'm going to go in with the darker purple now, just in my um, outer corner to darken up like this area. Um, so I'm going to get the dark purple. Oh my god, look at that pigment. Girl. Okay. And going in here. And bringing it out. Blend it out. I could. I could do a cut crease. I'm trying to think. I could. I could do one. I think I want to add some black, but like the tiniest bit of black. Okay. Another multi brush. This is a black one. I like to use the black on the black ones. Um, I don't know why. I feel like that's a dumb idea because you can't see the black. I'm just go in the outer corner to darken it up a little bit. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to do a cut crease. Okay, so the process of doing a cut crease for me I don't know if anyone else does this, but I like to use a cotton tip and Vaseline. I know this sounds really weird, but you'll see. So I have a little Vaseline tub, and then I just get the cotton tip in there. And all I do is just kind of put it on my eyelid of where like, I want my concealer to go, and it literally takes the eyeshadow off. Like, how cool is that? So now I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D White Concealer. This is the shade White Out. So I'm going to put some on my hand. And then I'm going to go in with the same brush I used to cut out my, my eyebrows. But obviously not the same brush. It's like the same brush, but a different brush. So I like to go in here, my hand, just get a little bit and then go onto my eyelid very slowly and just keep patting the concealer down until you get a nice round shape. Okay, and now we're going to do the other side. Again, just the same thing, pat it down. Now that I've added my white concealer, I'm just going to pick a shimmer. Now I kind of want to go in with this purple shimmer, but I'm going to go in with this little brush. All the brushes I'm using are Morphe, by the way, so if you guys didn't know. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this little brush just go into the james charles palette purple look at that look at that purple i might just spray it with some mari badescu spray so it's a bit more like tacky that is very bright cool okay now i'm gonna do the other eye but i'll do it quickly Okay, um, I'm just going to spray my face with the Mar Mar Mario Badescu spray. I usually use the Urban Decay setting spray, but I've recently ran out. And this is like the only other one I have. So I'm just going to spray it so it kind of sets my face. Even though this isn't setting spray, but like it's the only thing I have. So, so I'm going to use the thick end first and just create a wing. Actually, I might just blend out. Actually, you know what? I'm going to come back after I finish my eyeliner because I don't really want to do it on camera. I'm literally just doing like a black wing. That's it. So I'll be back. Okay, so I've just done my eyeliner. Not bad. Um, I'm just going to put mascara on now. And then I'm not going to put my lashes on until I like finish the whole look. But I'll just put my mascara on now. Okay. The mascara I use is the Maybelline New York Lash Sensational um, one, and it's kind of got like a curve. Now what I'm going to do is start the clown look. It has been so long, I need to start. Okay, 
So I'm going to go in with the big fluffy brush that I'm using for my eyes. And I'm going to go in with this purple first. I think actually I might just use these two purples. Um, oh God. Just creating kind of like a, a line. <laughs> Kind of like you want to create a triangle. Go in with the darker purple and kind of like in the middle section. Okay, now I'm going to go in with a bit of black just to darken it. At the bottom. Right now, this is not looking that good, but. We'll see if it gets better. <laughs> Lower lash line. Blend out the purple. And don't worry if it's like a bit messy because like you're going to go down anyway. So also what you want to do is go in here and blend this out so that it connects with the top. All right, now I'm going to start going down. Okay, you know, I'm going to come back when I finish this side because I need to fix it. Okay, so I think I've like done pretty much this side. Now I'm going to do the other side. So again, I'm just going to go in with the lightest purple and I want it to look the same. So I need to do it in like the same area as like the same points in my eyebrows I need to darken it a little bit more to be symmetrical with the other side my eyes are starting to hurt so now lips I basically am just going to bring it out and then put lipstick on. So yeah, I might start with the black a little bit and just bring it out slowly. Bring it out like that. Oh my God, that looks so good. Okay, like that. <laughs> my God, that is actually going all right, okay. And then the other side. And now we're going to go in with the purple and just start blending out on that black because that's already like the line that I'm going off. So I think this is the mouth pretty much done. Just kind of like a subtle, subtle mouth. I'm, I'm adding like this bright pink around the edges. I'm gonna blend it out. I need to add my lashes and then I'll do my lipstick. I hate doing lashes. I think I put them too like over this way. They need to go like more in. Okay, you know what? I'm going to come back when my lashes are on. So now I have my eyelashes on. <laughs> I literally feel like I have caterpillars on my eyes. I'm going to use this Bratz. It's from Makeup Revolution. It's the Bratz collection in the shade Chloe. It's literally just like a lip crayon. I'm trying to think if I want to take this makeup off my lips. Maybe not. Okay, I'm just gonna put it over. I just need to do my highlighter because obviously it's a glam look. We gotta go all out. So, going in with my Mario Badescu spray again. And I'm using this brush for my highlighter. Another Morphe brush. I'm just gonna spray the brush as well. 
and my face. And oh my god, I know what I forgot. My nose. How can I be a clown without a nose? Oh my god, okay, let's quickly do that. So I'm just gonna go in with my purple and go around my nose. Like that. I can't believe I forgot my nose. Kitty? Hello. Hi. Maybe just down here. And a little bit up here. Oh, don't get to take my eyelashes off. And a little bit on my kitty. It's now I just need to do my hair. And I'll get back to you with something if I still have it. I don't know, but we'll see. All right, guys. So this is the final look. Kind of like proud of myself, honestly. I really like it. I think if you guys want more videos like this, I'm down because this actually turned out really good for me anyway. Um, if you guys like this video, please subscribe to my channel and um, let me know if you want another video like this. I'm going to have so much fun editing it now, so yeah. I guess that's it. Hope you enjoyed me doing this cute little clown glam look and I will see you next time. Bye.